Hi guys, in this video I'm going to um, show you that underneath this cover on the scooter um, first we've got to take off four nuts which, are, which I already have and put those up there out of the way next we've got to take the seat off hopefully here's just this sort of quick release mechanism here and then, just got to pull the seat off, like so. And, uh, tell you what, I'll just stick you up there for a moment. Light on the subject while we're at Well, obviously on the side of the cover, wiring for the brake light and the indicators, it's the old charge socket. I'm not sure what the other socket was for. It's like two. Um, actually, I think one might have been a. Yeah, one was a fuse. Right. Sit that up there. <clears throat> so there's the plain basic skeleton. Oh, so it sit on the floor. Um, this is, what's that? What super feature that is! <laughs> it's got a horn. Meet me. That actually just looks like a bog standard moped horn. Got no idea if it works. I haven't tried it. I'm just trying to remember what that goes to. I think that goes to the rear lights. Uh, or is that my makeshift charger? No, hang on, what there was. That is actually my makeshift charger connector. So I put the other end to that on the actual charger itself. And there's a bunch of cables. Ah, yes. That's the one. I believe that's the one for the lights. Okay, we've got a bunch of wires all <laughs> on a couple of connector blocks. Um, was that part of me? Did I do that? I can't remember. It's been ages. I can't remember what that is for either. Actually, ah, I think that's for the turn signals. So, is that okay? I assume that's some kind of regulator device on there. All the wires seem to be going into that. Whoops, just caught the tripod leg. Sorry about that. Let's have a look. Those are the battery wires. They connect here batteries, which would sit oh, inside there. Still all solid. There's a bit of surface in there. I can clean all that up. There's the big old motor. Uh, rated speed is 2,750 RPM. Output 250 Watt. Three times Motor Co. Limited. I can't actually um, see what else it's got on. Let's see if I can just tilt this up and Voltage 24 volt DC, rated current 14 amps. There we go. Now we know. It's just a spaghetti of wires here. What are these for? Well, they go down to the motor. Duh. Everything's sort of 
connection or whatever this is, and there's a huge ass heat sink on here. I've never actually taken that off, so I haven't got a clue what's under there. Um, I've got a spare brake, which I'll put on. I don't even know if these tires will hold air, because I've never pumped those up. That chain is salvageable on there. I'll just uh, soak that in some oil. I'm not sure, can I take that off? Oh. Yes, actually that will come off without me having to disconnect the chain. That's good. That's very, very good. You hear the motor is spinning freely. The, um, yeah, it's all spinning nice and freely, so it just needs good old oil, really. So, this is going to be a simple little project, I think. Perhaps recoat the chassis with some hammer rope, because that's all I've got, so that's what it'll get. Once I've rubbed it down, I'll at least give it some protection from the rust. Sort the spaghetti of cables out, when I rem remember what plug does what. I can't remember what that go to. But, uh, yeah, there's my um, repair. It's straight through crimp joiners. I actually got this off of an old Bayesian moped. My brother, well, my brother was going to use one, but it was bought as spares repairs, and we bought I don't know how many parts for this friggin' Bayesian moped, and the damn thing still wouldn't run, so we even got hold of another Bayesian moped. <coughs> in an attempt to make a good one out of the two, and that didn't even work, so... Bayesian, unfortunately, are not my favourite type of Chinese moped. In fact, I wouldn't touch a Chinese moped with somebody else's barge pole, let alone my own. That's how much I hate Bayesian mopeds. I really do. And I actually know a guy that works at um, the only motorcycle shop in town, and they don't even like them and don't even like touching them. Because of that shit. <laughs> but yeah, there's not really a lot under these. It's mostly just wire. That's all the cables that go up to the controls and the battery level meter. And then you just got your brake cable. It's as simple as that. <laughs> so, I'm going to modify the lighting on this. Then I'm going to have to go through here and work out what colour wires go to what. That would be a good start. I don't even know if that throttle is speed controlled. You know, if you can start off slow and gradually speed up, or if it's just start, stop. So, I've, like I said, I've not had it... I've had it lurch forward just to make sure all the motor and everything work. But I've never actually had it going. So, um, I'll just give you some idea how big the batteries have to be. Really big 12 volts. These are your mounts for your, for the plastic cover. Um, hang on, there's a label on that one. What does that say? 24 volt. And there looks like there's a fuse in line there. That looked like a fuse holder. I'll just sit you down a minute because I need two hands to... can't separate it though. I'm guessing if that's 24 volt and that's got a fuse on it, that might be for the um, stop-go, twist, throttle, whatever you want to call it. I don't even know what you'd want to call it. Um, looks like I may have to um, take a few things apart up there to trace some wires back. That is obvious. That just goes straight down to the motor. And obviously, thickest wire here, apart from the actual battery wires, for obvious reasons. No, nope. Which is why I'm guessing this is the low current stuff the lights, the battery meter, and... I'm just wondering why all those are actually put into one there. I 
think that might be someone's repair or attempt at repair. That wasn't me, neither of those were me, they were already on it. And I'm guessing that's all your grounds connected there. There's one horn wire. Yeah, that's going to gra yeah, all them all them blacks in this one are all the grounds. I wonder if that was me that did that. This is last summer, I can't remember. No, I'm pretty certain it wasn't though. So that goes up, that must go up to the button then. She's up top there somewhere. It's joined there, we covered up with a bit of heat shrink. To another wall, yeah that goes up. In this protective um, covering. It's actually a good design I think for a, well basically a made in China toy. They've actually gone to the effort and um, insulated all the single wires into this black insulation. That keep, that's actually keeping everything tidy and keeps that well protected. That just sits in there. I think it just goes over the top of the batteries. I can't remember. Or did it go... No, surely it wouldn't go under there. No. No, it doesn't. Right. No. Um, the brake itself appears to work. I think it just needs some adjustment. Well, I can do pull on the um, brake there, and the wheel locks. Look forwards, anyway. I think. Should we have a better look? Yeah. So at least I might get away with just. Um, I'll just do that again because I didn't realise the camera was pulling up the floor. <laughs> I might have got it on, but just in case. Yep, I'm not actually putting that much pressure on there to lock the wheels, so that's good. That's cheating. Look at this. They've welded a bigger sprocket to a smaller one. <laughs> But is that, <laughs> there's actually teeth to have for this, a smaller sprocket, look, and I've just welded that pink one to it. Or bolted it to it, because I don't see bolts. Now, I'm actually wondering, was that done in the factory, or has someone else done that to um, change the speed of it? I actually bet, with that gear ratio, even for an electric one, you'd probably get a fair bit of speed out of it. No idea how long the batteries will last. And then again, I suppose that depends on what sort you put in there. Uh, <laughs> if I was actually a bit more knowledgeable and a bit more brave, I'd um, build my own battery pack to put in this. But uh, I'm not, so I'm just going to keep things as simple as possible. But, yeah, I'm sorry. Half looking forward to getting this done. A really nice little toy to play with. See if it lasts the eight miles to mum. <laughs> to mum's house. <laughs> That'll be interesting. <clears throat> See, all these wires came off the original charge socket on the plastic, and the um, plug on the actual charger was broken, which is why I changed it. It's perfectly fine on the plastic, the um, charge socket, but as you can see, <coughs> or, um, well, as you can see, I've changed it, and uh, I'm just trying to remember where I put the actual charger. Yeah. So, a lot of sorting out to do. I was thinking I could just run fresh wires from the, you know, and probably a fresh light switch or something on there, but 
think if I could reuse the existing wiring and just ch change the light fit and then the power supplies, so I need to find out that goes straight up to the handlebar, I think, them red and black wires. Yeah. I wonder what they go to then. Is that for the brake light maybe? That could be. Could very well be for the brake light. Because there's um then again, why would there be two cables? Um. <coughs> yeah. Oh well. I'll look at it when I'm when I'm ready to. Yeah. There's not really a lot to one of these. You wouldn't need to be an Einstein to work it out anyway. I will, um, tell you what, before I shut the video off, I've got a screwdriver down here. Let's see if we can get this cover off and have a little peek at what's under here. Could be, a, might be some sort of voltage regulator. Right, so there's one. Cobwebs. No idea if there's still any spiders living in here. A lot, lot more cobwebs on this when I first got it last year. Right. Oh. Ah, there is a label on it. <laughs> there is a label on it. Um, rating voltage, 24 volt, that's good English, isn't it? Maximum current, 30 amp. Efficiency voltage protection, protect, I should say it. 20 and a half volt. Make date, 2003, 10, 18. Oh, I've got to undo... Four screws on the bottom there to get into it. Um, uh, well, you know what I can do? I can unplug everything because um, I do believe there's only there's a different plug for each connection, so I don't think I can get them confused much. <laughs> right. So there's the unit. What I can do, while I've still got a little bit of battery left, I'll just make a bit of room up here on the table. Turn me spotlight down. We'll have a little peek in here, shall we? If the screws come undone. Well, the rustiest screw has just come undone. So that's a good start. Might find something living in this yet. Oops. And, uh, how much of this is in view? Let's just uh, turn the camera a little bit. There we go. One more screw. <coughs> I'm guessing this might be, I don't know, well, some sort of regulator. Will that come off now or is that potted in there? Um, it's actually on there pretty well. Uh, I'm just 
looking for a flathead screwdriver. Pry that off where Aha, here we go. Flathead screwdriver. Whoops. My chair's trying to escape from me. There we go. There's a circuit board in here. Wow. It's got all that plastic all moulded over it. There's well, if that died there wouldn't be much hope in repairing it. I can't see much on there. There's a couple of large capacitors at this end. And something screwed to the heat sink. And if anyone can see in there, there's one, two, three of them, whatever they are. Well, I weren't actually expecting that, so. I don't know how weatherproof that would be, though. Well, I'm sort of anticlimactic. <laughs> so, uh, does it matter what way this goes on? I'm guessing it might. Yes, no, no, yes, no. No, yeah, that way. I was a right in the wrong way. Mm. Right. So, yeah. Might as well have taken this off anyway, because I'll need it out of the way to paint the frame up. Um, I'm just trying to see if there's anything else I might want to take off. And actually, if I stripped it all down, then I suppose I could trace all the wiring back. Because, like I said, I want to put the lighting on its own circuit. So I'll probably put my own custom choice of lights on. And separate power supply and whatnot. There we go. Bloody nuts going around in here. Go away. Right. So there we go. Yeah. Yep, I think, yep, I've decided I think my best course of action to actually trace everything would be to um, disassemble it. I'll probably keep the horn on just for shits and giggles. I couldn't find a custom one like that. I played a tune or something. I might see. <laughs> come to think of it, I might see if I can find one. That would be funny. Um, yeah, because I'm going to have to take all the back wheel off to sort all that breaking that off out anyway, and get the chain off to soak that in some oil. Yeah, my best approach would be to actually take it all apart, clean everything up, paint the chassis. Put it all back together again with some fresh batteries. I mean, all I'm going to do is, because um, the chassis can't really be seen, and I only want to repaint it just to keep the rust at bay for a little while longer, um, I'll just use a tin of hammerite that I've got in the cupboard. Um, I'll disconnect the um, lighting from that unit there, and I'll put all the lighting on its own little circuit. But I do want to keep, obviously, the um, power indicator. I've got the indicator and in, turn signal and light indicator on there as well. Which, you know they're actually plastic, they're not metal, and they're loose. 
loosey goosey a little. Um, I'll take all that off and I'll clean all the chrome up. And, well, I'll clean it up as best I can. Doesn't actually look too bad. I think that'll, um, that'll show pitting. But um, I might get rid of the rust. Chrome's a pain in the backside. I could actually paint them if I wanted to. I don't know. I'll decide that later. Um, there's something on there from the look of it. I'm not sure what that black thing was. Still got the keys in it. It's actually good because that means no one can run off with it. I'm just going to pick these nuts and washers up. What I need, which I'll go and get in a minute, is a tub really so I can put all the little bits and bombs and nuts and bolts and screws into a tub. I've got plenty under the sink. I'll go grab one. Anyway. I think that wraps up this video. I'll just try to work out what size they are. Are they 12 inch wheels? They might be 12 inch wheels. So if I ever needed a tube, I'll probably need a 12 inch tube. I don't know, it probably says it on the side of the tire somewhere. Anyway, that's it for this video, so I'm going to call it quits. Thanks for watching and uh, Stay tuned for more scooter videos. I know it's only a small, simple project, but it's something I've had for nearly a year, I think. So I'm going to start, getting, start cracking on with it, I think. Anyway, as I said, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll talk to you again in the, in the next video.